is November 13, 2021. And from 6.45 to 8 a.m., we will have the MSU SDA Sabbath Online Worship. So, welcome everyone! Let me read Mark 2, 27 and 28. The Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is also the Lord of the Sabbath. So this comes with a call to enjoy the Sabbath in the company of God, leaving ourselves and our business aside. The Sabbath helps us to put God first and to give everything else in priority. And also let me read Testimonies for Christ in Book 6, page 368 by Ellen G. White. God teaches that we should assemble in His house. And now we are doing this virtually because of the restrictions brought about by the pandemic. To cultivate the attributes of perfect love. This will fit the dwellers of earth for the mansions that Christ has gone to prepare for all who love Him. There they will assemble in the sanctuary from Sabbath to Sabbath, from new moon to another, to unite in loftiest strains of songs in praise and thanksgiving to Him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. And this is our blessed hope. So the welcome remarks is given by yours truly. I purposely put my name, Jidel, on the screen because the MSU is the community knows me or calls me Jidel. That is my baptismal name. Together with me during our baptism was Sister Marilyn Obanan Gloria, a Dr. Elizabeth or Eden Alehaga, Shirley Shainar Sunilang Evangeline or Carmel Camposano and others. We were 16 during our baptism. So I got my Bachelor of Science in Chemistry in 1981 at MSU Marawi City. And presently, I am connected with the Department of Education, Panabo City. So to all the Sabbath keepers from the different parts of the globe, dispersed from different parts of the world, from Australia, United States, Canada, Thailand, Europe, Philippines, now from west to east, from north to south, welcome to this online Sabbath worship. May the Holy Spirit accompany us and bind us in one accord of faith, love, and hope of salvation through Jesus. So, happy Sabbath, everyone. After this will be the singspiration, and our song leader is Sister Olive Karumba Adalid. She is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Public Administration in 1982 at MSU Marawi Campus. She earned her Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English at North Davao Colleges here in Panabo City and then got her Master in Educational Management at Rizal Memorial Colleges in Davao City. And now she is the School Administrator of Math Learning Center here in Panabo City of which she is also a co-owner of the school. And after this is a song number to be offered by the Ed Kilang family. Uh, Indai and Rodong will be singing together with their kids. So Indai is still connected with Manila Adventist Medical Center or MAMSI in Pasay City, Manila. And I think Rodong has just also retired from the same hospital. So after that is the opening song of which uh, our sister Olive Karumba Adalid will be presenting. Next. So after the opening song will be the opening prayer to be offered by our sister Bonnie. So sister Bonifacio Pastera is a graduate of AB Political Science at MSU Marawi Campus way back 1980. And presently, she is teaching English at Bangkok, Thailand. So for our lesson review, we are now in Lesson 7 entitled Law and Grace. Uh, the memory text is found in Galatians 2.21. It says, I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, 
then Christ died in vain. So the law of God as a text is beautiful. It is a masterpiece of literature. God did not just do grace in giving the Ten Commandments. He also organized them in an artistic manner. Glory to the one whose fingers wrote the law on two tables of stone for us to obey with all our heart, mind, and soul. So the lesson review will be delivered by Ray Paolo. He is the brother of Pastor Nelson Paolo, who is now residing together with his family in Australia. The next part is the solicitation of prayer requests and the offering of prayers to be offered by Jedo Migrini. Jedo is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in 1980 at MSU Marawi Campus. And now he works as a manager for Group Risk Management of the Royal Bank of Canada at Ontario, Canada. Okay, a meditation song will be offered by Ivy Balanay Arrogante. Sister Ivy is a daughter of Marisa Sabanal Balanay, or whom we fondly call Sister Nene at MSU Marawi Campus. So Sister Nene is also an MSU SDA alumna. And then next is the introduction of the speaker. This will be done by Dr. Juliet. Mendoza. So, Dr. Juliet Tabera Mendoza entered MSU Marawi in 1975 and a graduate of Bachelor of Science in International Relations. She earned her MA in Philippine Studies, Society and Culture, major in Philippine External Relations, and also another MA in Education, major in Guidance and Counseling from MSU Marawi Campus. She got advanced units for Master in International Studies at UP Diliman, Quezon City, and a PhD in Philippine Studies at MSU Marawi City. And now she is a senior faculty at King Faisal Center for Islamic, Arabic, and Asian Studies. And at the same time, she is the University Protocol Officer for the Office of the University President, MSU Marawi Campus. Our speaker, Aldrich June B. Karaikle, will be introduced by Dr. Juliet T. Tabiral. A dedication song will be offered by Shodilav Naigal Warkes and Family, Batch 2003 and a graduate of Hotel and Restaurant Management. I think they are now in Elegant City. Then the closing prayer by our speaker. So we dedicate this online worship to our Creator, Provider, Savior, the Lord of the Sabbath. And let the Sabbath be a delight to all of us. Sabbath Shalom. <laughs>